my name is Hannah and in today's video we will be going over American Eagle's new activewear line called Offline. This is part of the Airy branch of American Eagle and in their line it's supposed to be sustainable and super earth conscious which we love. So I ordered a lot of goodies, okay? I ordered nine different pieces and from what I could tell off of the information I was gathering from online is that there's pretty much two different sections. There's one section called the real me and that section is made out of nylon and elastane and the material for all the leggings, sports bras and tops in the real me section will all be made out of that nylon elastane blend. The other part is going to be the goals section for all the pieces included in the goals portion is going to be also a nylon and elastane combination but it will be lower on the nylon scale so for the real me it'll be very soft very like buttery and then the the goals collection will be more of that athletic spandexy feel so without further ado let's hop into this video so this is everything i bought from real me we have one two three we have four things to go over for this collection it is going to be 88% nylon and 12% elastane and that's going to go for every single item that I show you under the real me collection these original price I believe are $44.95 and this is going to be the high waisted leggings do not ever buy it full price they are always having sales so I know right now I believe uh, Hopefully by the time this video is posted, it will still be on sale, but I know that right now they're on sale for $32. I ordered a size medium long. I wanted to see how long the actual longs are. And of course, in case you forgot, I am 5'9". I am a little bit on the taller side, so use that as a reference. They are 7 eighths in length and are claimed to be medium support. This is the legging. It is zebra print. It is blue. We can see here that the seam in the back is going to taper down a bit. This already is a very cool, very soft fabric, something very comfortable to wear in the gym. The waistband is going to be double lined, so that should give you a little bit of tummy control. And let's see how it goes. For this legging, it is extremely soft. I could definitely see myself wearing these very regularly they do have some tummy control but i wouldn't say it's a lot it's not really holding me in like extremely well but it is very very comfortable they fit well in all the right places it hugs all the right places it looks good on the booty with a little bit of the seam that goes down here i don't seem to be having trouble with any camel toe there is a front seam so it could happen but personally, I'm not struggling with that at this time. I did get these in a medium long. The 7 eighths fit is fitting me as a full length, but that's because I ordered them in a long. This is how long they are. The crotch seam is actually just a triangle gusset, but for some reason, it's not causing camel toe. Now let's see if they're squat proof. So they do appear to be squat proof and I would give these a 10 out of 10 thumbs up from me I am going to try to keep all of the reviews per item a little quick just because there is nine items for us to go over And I don't want this video to be too overwhelming So the next item is also 88% nylon and 12% elastane This is going to be the one that everyone raves about everyone and their mom is talking about on Instagram these leggings yes this is an affordable brand so at $45 it's still cheaper than Lululemon Alliance and stuff like that like I said these are all were also on sale never buy them full price these were on sale from $44.95 to $31.65 or something like that so from $45 to $32 they have the little cross over in the front like this I ordered just a regular medium we'll see if it is true length at the 7 8 length now that it is just a medium and not a medium long I just looked at this and I thought I ordered a medium but I actually ordered a small we will see how this goes how forgiving this material actually is something that I find interesting online it says medium support but here on the tag it says light support so we'll figure that out let's put them on All right, we got these babies on. So they actually don't feel that tight at all. Um, they feel totally fine. I just wonder if they're going to be squat proof since I did size it down. They are very stretchy, very comfy. Again, there is a triangle crotch gusset. And for the length, 
I would say they are 7 8 but they are still a little long for 7 8 I think it's just because they're extra stretchy. It does have this very cute crossover detail in the front and that kind of cinches in your waist a little bit more than the zebra one with the regular waistband. There is a front seam. There is potential to have camel toe, but like I always say in pattern leggings, camel toe really isn't that much of an issue because normally the pattern will distract from that. And also pattern leggings are very cellulite proof. I know some people will worry about that, so I'm going to mention it. It is cellulite proof. I don't think it's necessary that something is cellulite proof. We are women. We have extra fat because we are made to give birth and to bear children. So, cellulite, no cellulite. You're beautiful either way, okay? For the back, these are cute. So they kind of go down a little bit. They look good on the bum. Now let's see if they're squat proof. For these, I do feel like when you squat down, the material can kind of stretch out. You see like this, how it's a little lighter, but it is still squat proof. You can't see your butt crack. You can't see any shadowing. It's just the material itself shears out a little bit, but you couldn't see my underwear. So I would say that they passed the squat test. You are my sunshine on a rainy day. I would give these a 10 out of 10. I love them. They are so soft. I highly recommend them. I believe that these would be pretty sweat wicking, that they would dry quickly. Um, I obviously haven't sweat in them yet, but I do feel like they would either be more so on the sweat wicking side or at least they would dry very quickly. So next up is this Y back tank. If you're familiar with Lululemon, they also have a lot of these Y back tanks that people love. It is just a staple, something simple to have in your activewear section of your closet. This rings in at $39.95, which I feel like is pretty pricey for a tank top. It is cheaper than Lululemon, but I still feel like it's a little on the expensive side. As of recently, I've been going on their website and looking to see what their current sales are. And it seems to be that they have more sales on the leggings than the tops. But keep your eye out still. They might have just like an altogether offline activewear discount. I did order this in a medium. And again, it is part of the Real Me collection. So it is going to be 88% nylon and 12% elastane. Let's pop her on. So it says online that it is supposed to have medium support. It does have a built-in shelf bra and the cup pads are removable. For this top, it is full length. This is the back. Honestly, it's really cute. Obviously, I probably wouldn't wear it long like that, but if you just pull it up like this, kind of bunch it up and give it that athleisure vibe, it's really cute, really comfy. I actually didn't think I was gonna like this pink color, but I really do like it. I probably wouldn't rank this a medium support. I would say it's more of a light support. You could wear this around the house, or maybe if you're just like doing a quick lift in the gym, but I definitely wouldn't recommend any cardio or HIIT workouts while wearing this. I just don't feel like it's that supportive. In general, as an affordable tank top for activewear, I would give it a thumbs up. You are the one who takes my breath away. Okay, and last up for the Real Me collection is going to be this strappy back sports bra. I picked this up in black, just like a very basic color. It is again 88% nylon and 12% elastane. Very soft. This feels like good quality. It claims to be a medium support, so we'll see how that does. And this is going to be the back. It just has like this strappy detail. This is the front. It is a v-neck and it is long lined. And I don't know if I told you or not, but it's $34.95. Which I feel like is kind of still pricey for a sports bra, but we'll see how it holds up. Oh baby, she is comfy. Wow. I do have the pads in it, but they are removable if you want to take them out. And this is what she looks like. It does have a deep V, so it does make you look very feminine and kind of give you a little bit of a confidence boost while you're in the gym, you know, look a little sexy, sexy, you know what I mean? So it is long lined, like I said, so it does go a little longer for a little bit more of a modest fit. These straps are nice and stretchy. They are not adjustable. This is the back. And I would give this a medium support. I don't have that large of a chest, obviously, but for my chest size, which is a 34C, I would give it medium support. It's definitely not light support, but it's also not 
like full full supportive for an everyday activewear top that i could just grab and go to the gym i would definitely give this one a thumbs up the end of the real me collection quick overview i really like it i do feel like they're durable the leggings were squat proof very comfortable the tops were also very comfortable with a medium to light support and again all the real me collections are made out of that 88 percent nylon and 12 percent elastane combination which does come together to be a very soft and comfortable and flattering material now let's dig into the goals collection so the first item we are going to review is going to be the seven inch bike shorts so it is a seven inch inseam it does have mesh paneling on the side and again for the goals collection it will be 72 percent nylon and 28 percent elastane this feels almost a little bit more spandexy than the real me collection i ordered a small to see how forgiving it is in size but i don't know if i can squeeze into this very small short as i can see here it does have a triangle gusset and there are seams along the bottom but they don't seem very tight so i don't think it should do too much digging in oh gosh okay if you did not know the goals collection is kind of known for not having that front seam so there is no front seam so there should not be a camel toe issue um like i said there is mesh paneling on this side i would say it's true to size because this is a small and i normally order a medium and yes they're on but they do feel a little tight on, on the bottoms on my thighs they feel a little bit tighter here so i would say stick to your true size for the back it has the seam that comes up and then down onto the sides and then as well as a seam on the very very top half they are extremely compressive i don't know if that's because i ordered a size small or if they're actually compressive but i feel like even if i was true to size they would still be compressive they kind of squish the booty in a little like really sucks it in right there but i do feel like there's a lot of good support in the waistband it would really hold your lower tummy in very well and overall i feel like they're pretty good let's give them a little squat test 10 out of 10 for the squat test so when i was squatting i did notice that the top part of the waistband right here kind of rolled down a little bit but i also think that that might be because it's a size small and not my proper size so out of 10 i would probably give these an eight or a nine they're great in the aspect of being compressive and making you feel super held in so if you're looking for something like that then this would be a 10 out of 10 for you but for me i personally like something that's compressive but also giving on the booty you know just to give you a little room to grow you know I don't know why Alexa just made that sound. The next thing I can't wait to try on, this I've been dying to put on. So this is going to be the 9 inch bike short. And I'm very excited about these because yes, just like the ones I'm wearing now, there is no front seam and the bottom is a raw edge cut. So that means that it should not dig in because there's no seam at the bottom. It is going to be a triangle crotch gusset, but that's okay because without the front seam, there shouldn't be too much camel toe. Actually, there shouldn't be any camel toe. And the seam in the back is just straight across. These I grabbed in a size medium, so we will see if the shorts run true to size for sure. Um, they are $34.95, which I feel like isn't a bad price. And then especially if you get them on sale, I've been looking for a long bike short that is squat proof and good material and I'm just really excited to try these on because I've been dying to get my hands on a pair. So I feel like with this collection, the goals collection, it is supposed to be a more athletic feel. So I think that is why it is more compressive because these feel nice and compressed, like holding me in really good very good lower tummy control it's not digging in on my thighs because there's no seam there like i said no camel toe because there's no front seam the back it could be a little bit more 
flattering on the booty but I mean for what it is it's not bad it's not like a lot of extra material that you can like hike up your booty crack I don't know if anybody else does that but I like to hike up on my booty crack let's see if they're squat proof it looks as if they are squat proof and I love the length I love them so out of 10 11 these are all 11 out of 10 I love them I will definitely be keeping these. The length is just so flattering, and especially with a black top like this, or if you just want to throw on an oversized sweater, the length is really, really, really good. I surrender. Next is going to be these mesh high-waisted pocket leggings. So I got them in the color white, obviously. Wow, that's so bright on my screen. That's like really in your face, I'm sorry. They do have pockets that are mesh, and then there is mesh paneling along the leg. And by the feel of this, this mesh seems really nice. Wow, this mesh seems extremely durable, really stretchy, and I know with some meshes, you can kind of get skeptical of if it's gonna rip, but I feel like this would hold up really well. I did order a size medium and they are a 7 8 length. They are $49.95 I believe, but I snagged them on sale for $35. Something that I find very interesting is on their website, they claim for these to be squat proof. Yeah, did you hear me? They claim for these to be squat proof. That is a very move for you to claim that white leggings are squat proof we're gonna have to give them a go we'll see we will be the judge of that and for these i think i'm gonna put on a bright red pair of underwear may the squat test answer all of our questions i got these babies on so like i said there is a pocket i love that the pockets mesh i feel like it keeps it really sleek looking a little bit more luxurious it is a useful pocket because my phone fits fully inside of it. There is no front seam, so there should not be any camel toe. And then for the mesh, it goes down on your thigh and then wraps around to the back of your calf. If you can see that. Um, I do feel like they're a little slippery. Like, like I could see myself probably having to pull these up in the gym. But overall, for a white legging, they feel thick, they feel durable, they feel good quality. Let's see if they truly are squat proof. I have my red undies on, okay? They're actually not as see-through as I thought I would be, but they're not squat proof. But then again, who's going to be wearing a bright red pair of underwear with white leggings? I don't know. I feel like if you're wearing a neutral color legging or a neutral color underwear, like tan or maybe no underwear at all, they would be squat proof. But let me show you something. So the tag is in here and I can already see it. You honestly can't see my underwear like that clearly that right there just kind of proves that they're not squat proof and then i just sat in my chair and i felt them slide down quite a bit so i'm kind of sorry to say but i'm gonna have to give these a thumbs down i would not recommend them at least not for working out because you'll be moving a lot and you'll constantly be pulling them up item for the goals collection is this wrap sports bra this is supposed to have medium support it is $34.95 I believe and I ordered a size medium it does have cut pads and there are holes to remove the cut pads this is the front and this is going to be the back so it's kind of like this mesh strappy crossover detail i don't know if this is gonna be medium support though we'll give her a try i just popped her on and immediately i'm gonna tell you right now it's not medium support this is very light support it is holding me in but i know that if i started like bouncing around the girls are not gonna be secure the color is really cute really flattering the straps they don't seem to be digging in at all which i really love and then for the back it is like this little wrap around look I don't know if I like this look because I feel like it's just squishing this fat and like it's just hanging out. <laughs> I don't love it. So... That wraps up the goals collection. For this collection, a little review. 
it's kind of hit or miss. I can't say that I love the wrap strappy sports bra and I also don't like the mesh leggings just because I keep moving around in them right now and they just keep sliding down and I really hate when I constantly feel like I need to keep pulling things up. I definitely say the nine inch biker shorts were perfect. I love them. That's probably the only thing that I would grab from the goals collection. So as of right now, the real me collection is really where it's at. We do however have one more item to review and this is not in either one of the collections. It is just their seamless legging. It is $55, but I got it on sale for $38. I still feel like it's a little pricey. They feel very thick and warm. They do not feel very giving. I mean, they are stretchy, but they're not like overly stretchy. The waistband doesn't seem like it's too compressive. And I really just don't have high hopes for this. So I guess we're just going to put it on and see how it goes. Um, I did order a medium. And for this, this is actually 93% nylon and 7% elastane. Well, there is ribbing along the side. So there's that ribbing here that goes down the leg. And it's also a little bit on the front and the back of the bottom half of the leg. The top half of the leg doesn't really have that. It's a little ribbed, but not like extremely detailed like the side panels are. So let's pop them on. By the feel of these, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. It actually is hugging my tummy in and the seam hits at just the right spot that gives you a curvy look. There is a front seam and it is a triangle gusset, but for some reason I'm not getting camel toe. So, I mean, there is always potential with a front seam, but as of right now, it is good to go. On the booty scale, I don't feel like it's crunching it down or anything. I feel like it definitely um, has enough room and it's, it is actually pretty stretchy. I am still wearing my red underwear, so we'll see if they're actually squat proof. They are supposed to be 7 eighths length, which I feel like it is. Overall, they're very comfortable. They actually don't feel that thick. They feel like thick but cool. They're not warm and hot and uncomfortable. Let's see if she passes the squat test. I don't know how to explain this. I was just hating so hard on these leggings and I love them. I actually truly really like these. These leggings for some reason are so comfortable. I really enjoy how thick the waistband is. I feel like it's really holding me in and making my lower tummy look slimmer but giving me enough stretch in the legs for my legs not to feel too restricted i actually really like these babies i'm surprised that wraps up our video pretty much i do want to go over my top three items and then which three i would highly recommend not getting so well not highly i just wouldn't buy them myself you know okay the number one thing i recommend and i feel like everyone should buy is going to be the wrap leggings these ones 10 out of 10 love those the black strappy bra is going to take number two i love this very comfortable feel like it's just a staple it's black it's a basic color it goes with everything and then lastly is going to be the nine inch biker short i love these they are cool to the touch they're comfortable they're nice and long and I just really enjoy them and there's no front seam three things that I do not recommend that you buy one these white leggings don't love them they just keep sliding down and I I don't like to be bothered with having to pull my pants up every five seconds and I'm sure you don't either I also don't recommend buying this because as the front looks cute the back kind of like shows your back thigh kind of like digs in in weird places and it's not very supportive and honestly I don't really have a third thing to say that's not great because I feel like the rest of the things are kind of tied. Overall, I'm very impressed with American Eagle and Aerie for putting out such a affordable and good quality activewear line. And hello, it helps the earth, earth conscious. It's very sustainable. And I love that. Go support them. Spend your money on them. Don't spend it everywhere else. Okay, I don't know why I'm telling you where to spend your money. But if I were you, I would support American Eagle. They're also doing a lot of inclusive modeling. I've known for the longest time that I can remember, their models are big, small, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, everything. They're very, very inclusive with their models. And I love that. It just 
really shows that as a brand they believe that everyone is beautiful no matter what you or the next person thinks every single person individually holds their own beauty and i love that so go spend your money there buy all these things that i just talked about except for this and the white leggings and we'll see you next time for another try on haul oh my god you're so heavy okay can you see bye youtube bye youtube <laughs> okay he's kind of sleepy right now